at Leo Buckley. Harker Heights hosting Copper's Cove in this one. Opening possession, Dylan Flake on third and long. Checks it down to Caden Butler and lets him do the rest. Breaks one tackle, he's off to the races. 61 yards to the house for the score. Seven nothing Knights, just like that. Coppers Cove, though, would try to move the ball and find some su success offensively, which they did for a little bit here. Micah Kaysen finds Tristan Glass across the middle. Five receptions for 59 yards for him in the first half, but the Bulldogs could only come away in a field goal. Next possession for the Knights. Plate finds his other running back, C2 Evans, and after a bobbled catch, he takes it the rest of the way and takes on the entire Coppers Cove team on his way to the end zone. 14 0 Harker Heights. Fast forward to the second quarter now. Heights on the drive once again. Plake looking across the middle. He finds Rocky Crooks for the 23-yard touchdown. And Harker Heights rolls in the Thursday night game, 38 to 10 over the Coke. To come back home, uh, to play in Leo Buckley in the stadium that I played at, uh, great memories. To be a part, and really I'm reminded every day, and I see myself and all of our kids in some form or fashion, it just reminds me of, of the purpose of coaching. And so to be here and do that and be in Leo Buckley, it's special. I mean, every day, you know, you flash back, and uh, it's special for me and my family, but the kids have made it special. I'm super excited uh, that they were able to earn that. I'm super excited that we get to go into week 11, and uh, they, they they get to get a little taste uh, of what success is and believing and trusting in a process. So all credit to our kids. I'm, I'm super proud of them.